You're listening to the smartest guys in marketing, the best show on the planet for client businesses to learn about traffic, funnels, sales, conversions, and marketing coolness. Chris and Taylor are the founders of Traffic and Funnels, a digital marketing consultancy helping you get paid clients from cold traffic daily. Now, here are your hosts, Chris and Taylor. What's up, guys? This is a quick episode with the smartest guy in marketing, Taylor, and his assistant, Chris Evans. You're not going to see we're very smart, though, when you hear this episode. Well, what do you mean? The power of failing forward and how sometimes that does suck. Are we telling about the story with my wife? Or are we telling about the upsell story? Let's tell them the upsell story. We'll tell them the story about your wife and how she bitch slapped you in the next <laughs> podcast. Are you allowed to say that? I don't know. You are. Yeah, we'll tell you that next story. Okay. Just got an email this morning. We, this, is our, this is like our modus operandi, by the way. Failing forward. Money loves speed. Getting stuff out. So we launched a new funnel. It's our memo funnel. The memos are awesome, by the way. I don't know if you saw that post in our group, Chris, but people were like raving about it. Yeah. Um, and anyways, so these memos, they're like uh, short newsletters, lessons we're learning. This story we're telling you now will go in the memos because it was a disaster and a mistake of things not to do. Anyways, so we sent it to people's uh, mail every day. So we created this funnel, sent it out to some people. And um, someone emailed me this morning. They were like, hey, I just tried to get the, uh, you know, the upgrade option for the upsell and it didn't work. So I go and I look and the whole time we've had this funnel, I had the upsell set up wrong. So it wasn't working. And so we have probably <laughs> all these people who have like clicked to try to buy it and then they like clicked it over and over and over and trying to give us money and we can't get their money. So I went in we and can't. I fixed it like 30 minutes ago. And then right after I fixed it, we got an upgrade. People so there's no telling how much, how much money we've lost, but right. But on the other side of that, we move extremely quickly and Perfection does not equal profit. Ooh. And I think so many people, they try to perfect something before they take it to market. And that's what keeps them stuck. That's what keeps them in the mud. That's what keeps them actually from making money. When everybody else is talking about, oh, man, you have to have every single I dotted, every single T cross, and that's how you're going to get the money. No. You're going to get the money by failing forward, putting yourself out there, not being afraid to fail, not being afraid to have a broken upgrade, <laughs> whatever it might be, or a, I mean, a typo in an email. Yeah. You know, if we, cause if we would have waited until we had everything perfect, we never would have launched the funnel. We probably still wouldn't have launched it. So we wouldn't have, you know, like a hundred, 150 subscribers that we already have to this thing. We yep. probably wouldn't have launched traffic and funnels because we would have had to have everything perfect. It's just a principle that we operate by move yeah. quickly validate it quickly and then fix everything hopefully before you fall off the cliff and hit the ground. You know, a lot of time, honestly, you don't know if something's going to be broken until you push it to market. Mm -hmm. Like whether they're actually going to buy it or whether the tech is going to be like screwed up or it's going to not work on certain browser or mobile device or whatever it might be. You do your best. And we're not saying this is a case against excellence because we believe in being excellent. Why are you looking at yourself in the uh, camera right now? My hair looks amazing. Taylor is literally checking out himself on the Zoom camera. Yeah. So some people might say, well, yeah, Chris and Taylor, you guys should take your steps more seriously and you should test things before you launch them and yada, yada, yada. And <laughs> that's not excellence. But the reality is that we spent a lot of time making our stuff work. We spent a lot of time getting things to where they look nice and they work seamlessly, but not before we sell the first couple copies. We've got to validate it. We move to market quicker than most people. Yeah, yeah, that's a huge key. Sell it before and you create it. If you are saying that, probably poor. Because that's how poor people think. Mm -hmm. Just going to throw that out there. There's no worries <laughs> if you are. You guys just got to fix that. Anyway, yeah. so our upgrade stuff is now working. So if you want to buy our upgrade, you can go to trafficandfunnels.com <laughs> slash memos. And uh, it'll actually work. The memos are amazing. Hopefully, hopefully. No guarantees. No guarantee. So in the, into, in the next memo, I don't even know when this is going out, but we're writing it right now. We're writing about how all the bad stuff that happened to us in the last 30 days and how we systematically go through and deal with the threats and the areas in our business that are breaking. Yeah. We have a process for it. Which is a really good point in regards to so many people in their business, they look at way too many things in their business as opposed to there should be two, three, four, five main indicator lights, 
right? That you know, okay, that if this is broken, like something's gonna, like my business is gonna jack up. As opposed to taking every single element of your business and trying to fix it all the time. Yep. It's just not gonna work. 100%, 100%. So those are on the memos, trappedfunnels.com slash memos. Next episode, we're gonna tell the story about how my wife abused me last night and uh, got me back into shape. Ooh, that's basically the story of our lives. Yeah, our wives our tell wives us what to do. Tell us what to do. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys. See you. This is the podcastfactory.com.